Polish towns that declared themselves LGBT free are denied EU funds. Uh, the European Union will not provide funding to six Polish, uh, Polish towns that have declared themselves LGBT free zones, uh, a rare financial sanction of a member nation for issues related to equal treatment of its citizens. E, um, this is a quote, begins here. Um, EU value. <laughs> You oh, I mute uh, guys. If you're not speaking, mute oh. your microphone. Jesus, uh, sorry, sorry, Rivka. Don't, don't be angry with me. Don't send, never mind. Um, EU values and fundamental rights must be respected by member states and state authorities. End quote. Helena Dali, the European Union Commissioner for Equ Equality, wrote on Twitter the Polish authorities that adopt adopted. LGBT free zones or family rights, um, family rights in quotations, uh, res family rights resolutions fail to protect those rights, uh, she wrote, and their funding applications has therefore been rejected. Okay, what do we think about this? Well, I know that. Um, Why? So I much know. background noise. All right, today. Go let Chopin go first. Shabam, you go first. In fact, in fact, why did even Rivka try to speak first? Isn't this LGBT related? Shouldn't we like talk, shouldn't we go to our LGBT um, member? By the way, before before you speak, before you say, I want to say, Ethan, we got a new member. Ethan is our new member. Yes, Ethan, thank you so much. Anyways, go on. Oh yeah. So I yeah. think I think I think it's a good thing that they did this because I mean it, it's so like first of all. No, nowhere cannot can be an LGBT free zone. There will always be people. They will just not come out, and it will be a serious like if these zones like stay LGBT free as they uh, calling themselves, um, then it will be really a serious thing about the mental states and mental health for the queer kids, especially because they will grow up like in this very restrictive society where they will uh, be led to think that they they have something wrong in themselves they they are somehow not okay they are not normal and things like this and i think this will be really really bad for the queer youth and so uh, this is uh, i just think like the eu is doing like a good thing not uh, uh, giving them funds for this stance Right, so l let me tell you what I hear a whole bunch of um, anti-LGBT right-wing people usually say. Again, hashtag, not all right-wing people, not all. Don't come at me if you're right-wing and be like, Armin, I need to... Um, so they step, when they, a lot of right-wing people say like, listen, I'm not against gay people or trans people. I'm just against LGBT, you know, A, B, C, D, alphabet, whole, like they make, they all usually make that joke as well, right? They're like, you know, the LGBT agenda is not, and, you know, pro gay. That's just like, they say, like, this is like a consp an agenda to come and change people's way of living, and it's a political thing. Um, I'm okay with, I love gay people, I love trans people, they should be able to live the way they want, but this LGBT is not about that, that's what they say, that's what they say, and usually they stop at actually saying what they really mean, uh, sometimes, uh, and what they really mean is that this is, that riff cuts people, you know what, I don't have to say the things that triggers a YouTube algorithm, I could just say riff cuts people, okay, riff cuts people, um, that, this is a this is like a conspiracy by Rivka's people to destroy families, right? That's what they usually that's what they usually think. Okay, especially in countries like Poland and Hungary, they do feel that, and they usually because they also don't want to say just like me, who I'm not saying it, they also don't want to say it, so they say Soros. Soros is their is their key word for those people, right? So that's what they usually think. Anyways, Rivka. Okay. I, I, um, wanted, I wanted to mention one more thing. Like the good news, there's me? one good news. Shabham, that, Shabham is being anti-Semitic, but go on. <laughs> uh, the left wing, uh, 
members of the parliament in Poland in order to oppose this uh, thing like pre LGBT zones. They decided to wear LGBT like color coded coatings, the rainbow, uh, and that they are just showing solidarity with the community just to oppose this uh, thing. So that's, I think, like there are people to oppose this. I also want to clarify for the idiots who think that I'm saying these conspiracy theories because some people might actually think that. I'm just telling you what these conspiracy theories are. I'm not, I, I, I know they're ridiculous. I hope so. Nobody in the live chat thinks I actually believe in this. Anyways, Rivka. Okay, um, I was going to say there's been a lot of this new um, anti-gay stuff in uh, all parts of the Soviet, or uh, Eastern Europe, rather. Um, that's uh, kind of church-related, but also nationalist-related. And you're right that there is this whole, you know, globalist conspiracy theories amongst a lot of right-wing people and also left-wing people, but they don't, they like the gays. These people with their uh, globalist Soros conspiracies, you know, don't like the gays. But I think that Chopin's correct. I mean, if you're part of the European Union, you have to abide by a certain set of rules within that whole member states. And if you're not willing to do that, then you don't get a share of everybody's money. So that makes sense to me um, in terms of um, you know, redlining people and saying, you know, if you're gay, you can't live here. If you're, which is very similar to all kinds of other discriminatory practices that happen. If you're Jewish, you can't have this job. If you're Muslim, you're not allowed to live here. If you're black, you can't, you know, come into this community at night. I mean, this is, this isn't anything we haven't seen before, but the gay thing is just somewhat more intractable because I think people use this religious connotation on top of it to say, it's not me that says it's bad. You know, I mean, I watch, you know, the RuPaul show all the time or whatever, you know, it's God that says it's bad. So it, those kind of things are going together and I'm seeing a resurgence of a lot of, um, theocratic ideals entwined with like a lot of nationalism in a lot of these populist um, areas in Eastern Europe and even, you know, other places, definitely the United States too. But so that's what I have to say about it. So it's very interesting, by the way, there's two, like in, in Eastern European countries, there's either uh, a Catholic uh, or a Christian, they either use that narrative to say why they don't like LGBT but this anti-Semitic way is also used for people uh, who are not religious, but they, you know, that's how you appeal to people. If you want to fight back against LGBT people, you use, you, you spread these conspiracies to also go, you know, appeal to the non-religious demographic. Shopan, before you, before you say that, I just want to read two comments to the two top comments uh, on our Facebook post about this. Mikaela, Mikaela, that sounds like a very cool name. Uh, she say, as a Polish person, I feel sorry for my country. Our government is, is chose. I think she means has chosen. Uh, has chosen most, uh, mostly my elder, faithful people from villages. Okay, okay. So this she's saying this is mostly religious people and elder people uh, that are have chosen this. By the way, somebody in the live chat says, what does this got to do with religion? You know, go F yourself. Um, I'm sorry, I'm just joking. Don't go. Uh, but like, obviously, this is religious. Uh, religion has a huge. First of all, we don't cover news that it's just about religion. But this one, this definitely is about religion, right? Another person, uh, Javier or Javier, I don't know. He's saying so. Basically, if you want first world funds uh, support, stop behaving like the third world. Oh, that's a good comment. Ruben is saying the EU probably wishes it never expanded east to take in these. Uh, winging moochers in the first place should be a way of chucking them out. Um, yeah, all right, Shopam, you wanted to say something? Yeah, what I was saying is like the money which is being withheld from the firms is not like huge amounts, it's really modest, like from six thousand to twenty nine thousand dollars. And this money would have just gone to a uh, fund. Uh, fund a program which is supposed to connect local communities across Europe. So 
if they are discriminating against a community, they certainly don't deserve this money at all. Right. Daniel in on YouTube is saying Daniel is our member, so we are by law forced to read his uh, live chat. Uh, Daniel says strong Catholic presence in Poland. Do the math. Uh, Rivka, you want to say something? I wanted to kind of circle back to your uh, anti-Semitic comment. Um, a lot of these kind of things um, people don't realize. They may not like gay people or immigrants or whomever, but that, and then they start talking about Soros or the globalist conspiracy, that's circling it all back to saying it's Jews who are doing all these things and they're using these people that we also don't like. So people wonder like what this is about, like why we're saying this. And uh, it happens over and over and over again, you know, that the Jews kind of are at the top of the hate pyramid, controlling everybody else that they don't, say, also don't like. Rivka, you can't say that, Rivka. YouTube will punish us. Say, say my people. Say my people. <laughs> my tribe. <laughs> my people. My, yes. <laughs> Maybe we get, maybe that's why we're monetized because we have you on and so we get like a get out. Like, this is how the, this is what diversity quota gets you. See, we have this is why we had to get rid of. Susanna. I mean, Susanna's by, so I don't know if we we, we still need her. I don't know. Um, the, the good thing is that Shopham here, he's also like has all the everything and the LGBT covered, so we don't need Susanna. Yeah. Um, well, we apparently just increased our OIR, our oppression index rating. Yeah, even though she's <laughs> bi, it's okay because Ethan covers all the LGBTQ stuff, all of them, right? Um, so yeah, we don't getting rid of white people gets our diversity. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's better. Uh, but Ethan is saying most right wing people I know are uh, tolerant of gay people, including myself. I find the pride. I find the pride in your face stuff off putting. Off of putting from the community and some of the transgender is too far out there. Oh wow, Ethan is a, is our uh, is our supporting us financially. So <laughs> I don't, I don't know. No, I'm just kidding. You no, know, Ethan, I, do, I disagree with that. Um, I, I mean, I, I I think it's why should it be off putting? What do you mean? Like, because he's just not comfortable with that kind of way people yeah. act. I mean, I can I, understand I, I, I that. Know. Actually, I know these people who say, oh, I don't have a problem with gay people, whatever problem with they, uh, everything about them is their sexuality. They always get rainbow this, well, rainbow that and everything. Can I, can I, can I yeah. respond to that really quickly? I know you're part of the community, but I don't care. Um, but the, the pro <laughs> just no, the problem is that everything is about sexuality, not because they made it about their sexuality, it's because the target on their back is because of, uh, you know, so if you, let's say, for example, if the target of uh, people are coming after me because uh, people are coming after me, uh, you, because you're an atheist, for example, right? I'm coming after any community, right? And then you go out and say, you know what? People shouldn't be afraid because be, uh, for being an atheist, there's nothing, um, you know, which you know, there's nothing wrong with being an atheist. You made it about atheism, because they're making it about atheism. They turn the target about atheism, right? So if you, it, when it comes to the LGBT community, people say, oh, why do they make everything about sex? Well, because that is that is the thing that they has turned into a, uh, the target on their back is based on sex. So the reason why they have to constantly say why I'm okay with my sexual identity or my sexual orientation, and it's constantly about sex, it's not because they are highlighting sexual stuff about themselves. It's because the people who are coming after them are highlighting sexual stuff about themselves. So if you want to fight against against that kind of oppression, you would have to make it about your sexual orientation or your sexual identity, right? It's, and so that's that's my response to that. Uh, the Mad Gatheist is saying, uh, religion is how they legitimize discrimination. Um, another thing, uh, Our Lady, okay, P is saying, Our Lady of Atheist Republic, Mother Superior, Susanna, save us. Oh, that's, <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, Shopam, you no, wanted to say? No, I oh. want, well, I want to say something to, def to, to explain what I was saying. Mm. I hear you. I thought what Ethan was saying, and for Ethan, forgive me if I'm wrong, mm. is that Ethan's just a different kind of person, and he's more comfortable in, you know, maybe not being so out there with the pride in your face, which I think is a fair thing to say. Everybody gets to be 
the whatever kind of gay person or atheist or, you know, I don't know. I'm trying to think of another, you know, label that they want to be, you know, and they don't all have to think the same in terms of how they express themselves. And I got the impression that that's what he was saying. Like, it's off putting to me because it, I just think it's too much or it's just too over the top. I didn't think he was dismissing it so much mm. as, as a, you know, why are you always making it about yourself? That's how I read it. Uh, Shobham, before you speak, Will, Will Philly, Will is saying Shobham is Captain Planet of Diversity. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think you have got everything covered, but go on, Shobham. Yeah, so, okay, so what I'm about to say, I'm not referring specifically to Ethan. I am not, I don't know what his point is on this, but I know these people, these certain people when, like, for example, let's say a gay guy uh, comes out and says, hey, I have a boyfriend. And people say, why do you have to make everything about his sexuality? We just don't talk about it. Uh, like, okay, good, you have a boyfriend. We are not against it, but you don't have to be talking about it. But when a straight guy comes and says, hey, uh, this and this happened with my girlfriend and everything, and they would be like celebrating it. Th this kind mm. of double standards exist. I have seen, I'm not saying Ethan is like that. Mm. I don't know, but there yeah, are like, so like many if you people have like this. Yeah, like if you have like if you have a children's book and they're uh, for for children, right? And then they're oh, yeah, children's books are for children. Uh, but if there's like a gay couple in the children's book and you have two dudes kissing, like a prince and another prince kissing, right? Everybody like why? Like this is the LGBTQ agenda. They're coming for your children and like yeah, but we have had men and women kissing in children's book forever, right? Like Snow White. I don't know, like Sleeping Beauty. Um, so why were you guys so upset when you had that level of sexuality in kids' children's story before? And now, now that the like, it's not like they're, they're not showing kids. They're not showing them like adult-rated stuff. It's the same level of kissing was there between men and women for children's stories. All it was always there, right? So when you have that, when you just now adding to like. Instead of a prince falling in love with a princess, if you have two princes falling in love or two princesses falling in love, they're like, oh, LGBTQ children, now they're coming for the kids. Save the children, the children. Somebody, somebody save the children. But yeah, I see that double standard. Um, anyways, do we want to continue this or let's go to the next? No, I want, uh, okay. So the last thing I want to say is like, this is the kind of like this is also a kind of homophobia like homophobia is not explicit gay is bad and everything like that this is also this uh, develops from homophobia and i think this is the kind of homophobia which is prevalent in the more progressive places because in the regressive places people will outright say that yeah this is completely bad we don't accept it and everything but in certain progressive uh, places people will uh, say okay we accept it but do you don't have to make everything about it and because uh, in order to normalize it we need to oppose that and this is the best way being flamboyant is often the best way to normalize it. news thank you for joining us subscribe to our channel hit the bell thingy if you haven't i don't know why what has what's holding you back okay if you haven't subscribed to our channel why haven't you subscribed to our channel explain that to us please like bell <laughs> and also if you if you're not getting notifications and stuff because youtube is not telling people that we have shows because youtube is like oh this person told us that they want to get your shows right they want to get your videos but nah you we think is no and oh look oh they also hit the bell button but nah you guys are too controversial we want to show them mainstream stuff we want to show them cnn or cat videos or whatever but even there are people are like, no, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we don't think you want this. They're like, no, please show it to us. We say to you, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we think we know what's better for you than you yourself. So to solve that, link, there's a link in the description, uh, which is to our newsletter. So hopefully some of our, we could email it to you. So hopefully you get some of our content that way. Okay. So yeah subscribe to our newsletter as well and share share our videos because you know we do get demonetized that's an obvious on every one of our videos so f that 
but we don't care about that anymore. <laughs> but we also get deprioritized, and that's even more damaging to us. Deprioritized. What does that mean? That means we're not. We don't show up on the suggested, you know, videos on the right, and all that, you know, on the on people's homepages. And that's how channels grow. Unfortunately, we can't grow. So we need you guys to share our videos. 